Well, good afternoon, folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Or do I do bees? I don't know that I do bees. Sometimes I think bees do me. Because I'm going to tell you, spring and summer, I don't do anything on my own schedule. I'm always on their schedule. Well, whoever it is, welcome back to my bee yard here in southeast Louisiana. Alright folks, well, I'm walking out here. I think I forgot to tell y'all on my yard walk. I got a swarm in my top bar. I don't know when it came. It's about a month ago. It's been here about a month now. But my top bar, just before winter, completely absconded. Not one dead bee, not nothing in it. Cleaned out, left town, went on their merry way. And uh, I didn't do anything with it. I didn't even open it up. I never even straightened out the comb. Um, just too busy with the bees because the bees do me. But I got a swarm in here, so we're just gonna let them be bees. Bees are gonna do what bees are gonna do. We're gonna let them be bees. Here they are, not moving much today. But they're in there. Well, all right there, folks. It is May 7th. It is 79, I'm sure, and the sun is 80. But it's not hot, it's very, very dry, not much humidity, um, and beautiful day. But what I have to do today is strip honey supers off, pull honey. Um, and this isn't our major flow, this isn't the main flow. What this is, is the privet excess that we had. So I put supers on into March to just gather up any of this excess nectar that was coming in. We had, just to catch it, it was coming in, they were starting to put it in the brood nest in the top box I said well let's get some supers on so they began to kind of put a little bit here and there in and then when the privet hit they laid they laid the uh, nectar up in there pretty well so last week I went through um, and I don't and maybe I should but I don't go through as diligently as I probably need to as far as seeing if the brood nest is getting uh, stuffed up with nectar I mean I do but what I did last week was I would go through lift the tops full super lift the next one lift the next one Pull the brood box up, see if there's any swarm cells, put it back down, check a couple frames, move on. Here and there, not every single one. I, a lot of times what I do is I just super up and watch the supers to get filled. When they're beginning to get capped, I try to give them an extra super each time I see that. So that's what I did last week, basically under super with some foundation because I'm out of drawn. Um, but this year I really do want to get some new drawn foundation for my um, supers. Uh, last couple years, especially last year, had some really crazy swarming events, and they were just weren't going up in some of them old, old combs. And those combs are getting pretty old. So I'd like to eventually get to the point where each year 10% is being cycled out. So got a lot of new boxes out there. Hopefully, going to draw a lot of new comb. So what I did was I under supered everybody to give them a little bit more space, so we could finish capping this this nectar off. So my goal is to get it out. And look, this neck, this honey. Uh, this privet honey is super super thick and sticky and clear. I mean, it's very very sticky and you don't even it, it can be uncapped and still be at a, at a acceptable um, Moisture level it's uh, it's very very uh, dry honey So I'm gonna be pulling and making sure at least 80% is capped pulling it out and getting it out of the combs getting the boxes stacked back up any new foundation that's been drawn it's going to get reconfigured into nine frames and i'm going to go put it right back on the the boxes because about i'm thinking two weeks we're going to have uh tallow coming in so that's the main flow that's the one where they really fill everything up and then they really begin to plug the nest although this was a very good flow for privet this year and uh, there's a chance they could have clogged nests what we don't want now is we want them to play with that foundation, try and start drawing some of that out with the residual flow that's coming in. Hopefully, that keeps them busy, keeps them moving, keeps them building. Enough time for us to go ahead and get this stuff off this uh, today, get everything back on tomorrow, and then they got fresh space for the tallow. Uh, if they swarmed, well, it's too late. Then we just condense and set them up for summer so that they can get ready for fall and then go into winter. But that's the plan today. Fume board is what I'm going to use today. It's what I always use. I fume board them down and then flip it up and the residual bees I blow out. Don't have a ton of supers to pull, but enough to where I need to make space. Um, I bring them back in here and then we'll go into extraction. 
Then they go back on the on the uh, hot bodies. So it's gonna be a busy day and a busy tomorrow morning because that's probably when I'll go back and actually put them on. Don't think I'm gonna have a ton of time. And somewhere in all this, I gotta fit in cutting all this green stuff around here. All right, let me get started, get set up, and I'll come right back to you. Well, folks, the love bugs are in the air. And Mr. Ed says, when love bugs are in the air, the flow is on. Now they're just now showing up. We get love bugs in the summer. Uh, here's one on the high right here. That's a love bug. Usually there's two of them, joined tail to tail, and they fly together. Thus, love bugs. They get super thick down here, and they absolutely coat your car in the summer when you run through them on the highways. I mean, just coat them. Coats the cars. There's a bunch of them. See, they're like white boxes. Here's one that's joined together. There you go. They fly like that. Here's another one joined together flying. So Mr. Ed always says when we see love bugs, the flow's coming, or it's here. And uh, I don't know if he got that from Mr. Julian or not, but that's what he says, so, hey. But we gotta get honey off of these. I'm all ready to go. Uh, just gotta get up and do it. This is a foundation frame. Yeah, they're starting to draw it slow, and I put this on at the very end of the flow. Yeah, starting to draw it out slowly, but not ready yet. But the one below it, pretty sure is all honey. This one I had a sneaking suspicion it was wanting to try and go somewhere, but we gave him a lot of space. I see a lot of it's not capped yet. I'm looking for 80%. So outside frames are a no go. I really need to get this off. Yeah, they're, they're another week away. What I'm probably going to do is pull frames. Probably pull these center frames and replace them. I have some drawing in there I'm gonna replace with. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I wanna get as much honey off and get space for these bees. My fume board stuff is honey banded. Actually, I got a brand new bottle of uh, honey be gone that I'm gonna use when this is out, but I wanna use this up. This is my older stuff. That's to get on there for a few minutes. Let's pull some frames out of here. I'm gonna get some fume boarding done on these. We gotta get busy. And of course, anything you don't get pulled today, well, we'll just We'll pull it another day. Pull it next week. Honey extractor will stay right at the ready. Oh, for the next few weeks. And not all these are full. There are only a few that we're going to pull, I think. Last check, anyway. Uh, this one obviously looks full, but it's not. It's got a lot of uncapped. So we're still early on some of this. Again, I'm going to pull frame by frame. It takes longer, but I can open space up for them. And that's the key. Yeah, that's not ready. I don't have to worry too much about robbing. At this point, even though the privet has stopped, there's still enough out. Yeah, so, if I take these. And then I'm gonna mix and match some stuff. Yeah, see that one's good. A little drone on there. That's from before I undersupered it. Get that out of there. Another full one. Another full one. We're taking uh, six so far. Now I can't backfill with foundation because these nine frame boxes are already, I mean they're full, but you don't want to do that. Anytime I've ever had nine frame foundation drawn out, uh, I've always done it with just nine frame, all foundation. Never 
never mix and match on that. And it does work. People tell you don't, it does, but it's gotta be just right. Now I wanna see what's in the bottom. I got this one and I put a foundation in the middle. Try and give them something to do. But flow would kind of stop. Now this one here I believe is full. Yeah, I'm one here. Yeah, and so the rest are capped. I'm gonna take it. And if I run into some that aren't capped all the way, I'll bring them back on the onto the uh, onto the pod. We're gonna take that whole one. Fume board. Let's check this one next to it. Fume board at this one. Wow, probably longer than I needed to. Probably absconded. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I want to take a few of these too. Again, I'll come back and get put back what I need, but I don't know. I don't want to wait another week. I really want to get them some space now. Y'all know the shake method? All right. It's usually a good sign it's cured. Take three frames out of here. No nectar coming out at all. Figure if it's good enough for the old timer, it's good enough for us, right? This one can wait. So we'll wait on these. And this is a possible storm. I'm not sure it stayed. So who knows, you know, if they're even in here. But we're gonna we're gonna give them back their box. And we just gotta remember who all we took from. So we didn't take anything from them, took some from him, took some from them. We'll take a whole box from them. Gonna give them a little bit of this foundation up top here. And we have to come back and backfill them. Put these frames back in and put whole boxes back on. We'll put a brick standing up and we'll look at the next one. All right. All right, this is a 10 framer, meaning they drew this one out for me. It's so high up. Yeah, they're drawing it out. But it's not ready, so we'll leave it. is at my chin and I'm six I'm six two this is at my chin so these bees use their time wisely yeah they use their time wisely All right so that's good I'm gonna put this one back down it's pretty heavy still even though it's not full it's got a little bit of weight to it some of them is heavy though And again, we put these on right as the flow was ending. Heavy wax frames. So, nothing yet. It's weird, this privet flow. It seems like it's, it's not so heavy that they draw out a box really quick. They'll, they'll back to their nest first sometimes. And that's, that's frustrating. It's hard to control. Nope, this one's not capped either. It did have a lot of rain and moisture, so the humidity might have kept them from capping all this. So. Next week might be our week. Oh, full brood there. We're gonna leave this one alone. We're gonna leave this one alone. And let them um, do what they're doing. But we gotta get this off in another week. Alright. Not much to really do there.
and folks that's basically what I'm doing today um, there's a few whole boxes I'll take like that one we run most of the bees out blow them out and then off we go uh, I got one over there that's got about two full full boxes another one's got a few and uh, yeah I think that's it looking over there and then I'm gonna have some bits and pieces like that what I'll do is I'll extract those bits and pieces and then I'll uh, I'll put them all back in in bits and pieces I'll put the empty frames back in it's a little more cumbersome but for this time of year and what we're trying to accomplish is what we have to do I got to have them to have space when this main flow hits uh, if we don't I think I got a bee swarm in my tree I sure do I'll be darned yep got a swarm but uh, I'm gonna have to uh, do a little bit at a time uh, to give them space because what I don't want is this massive thing right here well, I said massive but that's not really massive is it actually that's a little one huh well we'll cut that out and put it in the box but I'll do that after I get this honey off that's what I'm doing I'm just doing bits and pieces I gotta make space you know I could solve this problem with having more supers but I, I, I just uh, we're actually coming down off the flow right now so they're not drawing foundation heavy right now and they're bringing in just enough honey to clog up a nest so it's kind of an in-between deal tallow hopefully it'll be coming soon um, we're gonna stack boxes on here's some tallow right here uh, it's starting to get its, its flower that's the tallow flower it's at least a couple weeks away so we got to give them room and again I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep a hundred supers around just to take care of that kind of stuff I'd rather just you know do this I don't have enough that it's gonna kill me so we'll go through and do this and uh, I'll get back with you and show you what we wind up with at the end of this So just to let you know, after the tallow flow, it won't be like this. After the tallow flow, usually right around the third, fourth week of June, we just come in, I just, I, I fume them all, pull them all. Unless I see one that's blatantly, obviously, uncapped all the way or something like that. Uh, and a lot of times I'll still pull that and I'll feed it back out in the open just to get all my boxes broken down back to double deep for the summer. Um, it won't be all this picking and choosing. Again, I'm doing this simply because I need to uh, get space on the on the colonies, but I don't want to take stuff that's not ready. So I'm just going to pull what we can, pulling a few boxes. Looks like three or four full boxes, and then we'll probably combine up to another box, hopefully. Um, just get some space, come back out tomorrow, redistribute it all back out. I'm marking some of them so I can go right back on with a full uh, shallow or medium, and that's all there is to it for me. folks we're here in the honey house uh, here's what we ended up pulling down uh, off of those boxes basically we got six um, six supers and I want to say at least one of those is a um, 10 frame most are nine frames so we got to get this stuff pulled out and get these frames back on the uh, hive stands now, what I did find with uh, a lot of them were the fact that um, they weren't capped. They they were like about the same as they were last week. So I expected them to be capped a little more so than they were, and they weren't. Um, and we had a lot of humidity last week at the beginning of it. We had a lot of rain. Um, that could have been it. Poor ventilation on the hives. Whatever. It, you know. So we'll buy, probably going to need to go back through in uh, another week and pull more out. But then that's it. Then we, we're, we're going to leave them what space we have because they will um, they will be ready for the towel flow in about two weeks. So one more week, pull some more of this stuff off and then get everything back on and hope we can get, you know, some towel filled in there. We will. We'll get towel. Just don't know which boxes, which which uh, colonies are going to do good, which ones have swarmed. Um, I don't go deep into the brood chambers at this point anymore. We're where we're at, even if they did swarm. There's nothing I can do. I can split them, but if they're already loading honey, let the rest of the residual numbers continue to load the honey. 
let them requeen and let them be ready to go for the winter. To try and split them all up now, that's just more smaller colonies and I'm not looking for more bees. So another thing about this honey, and I'm gonna show it as I get it out, but it's very, very sticky, very, and I've said this, very, very thick, 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 sticky stuff. You can do the old timers test and shake that stuff and shake it as hard as you want. I even beat it on the frames and nothing comes out. It's so sticky. It takes a while in the extractor. You're probably going to spin out some of the stuff that's only partially capped. Which means I could have took a lot more off of there, but I decided not to. Um, but I'll take it next week for sure. Because I want clear supers for the tallow. I want full supers for the tallow uh, when it comes in. One thing I have noticed with, well, with most honey that I pull from this area, but mainly with this stuff as thick as it is, when you run the knife, the serrated knife blade across that uncapped stuff, it rolls it and tears it. Um, so I try to bend the knife and avoid it. I forgot on the first few, I wasn't thinking, just been a year since I've done it. But um, yeah, you'll, you'll tear the comb up. And especially with this stuff going back on the, if I go careful with it, going back on the colony in the next couple hours or next few hours we really would like to preserve as much as possible less repair for them more time to put honey in the, in the comb too honestly I can't believe I can't believe I'm harvesting honey if you talk about time flying I mean, time has flown by. Look how thick this stuff is. Look how, it's just so sticky. I mean, it's... It's just... Look at that. You put... You get that tallow and get to... Get to cutting it out. And I'm telling you, it'll, it, it, it'll run all down the frame big... Like lava flows, it looks like. This stuff is just, look at it. And clear. Anyway, well, let's get this extractor loaded. And we'll, uh, we'll get some of this out. First drop of 2021. That's the first honey of 2021. Look how thick and clear that is. That is amazing. The thing with this light honey, I can't get enough of watching it. And every now and you'll see a, a darker streak in it where probably there was some clover or something mixed in, but that is some light, light stuff. It's so thick. How many times have I said that in this video? I wonder how many times. I put a counter on there, there's no telling. Every year, I just sit in amazement at how clear and beautiful that stuff is. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of honey that makes me happy. You see it? And it's all fruited. Happens, you're so white because look how light that honey is. It's it's a it's some amazing stuff. How it's different. I'm gonna eat this. Now 
fine frame hunting. See how thick that is? I love it. Makes it so easy to uncap. Alright, AC's coming on. It's getting warm in here. Alright guys, well that is it. I am done pulling all these boxes, but uh, I'm actually out here a little later. had to um, get some honey bottled up uh, at the market tomorrow. So I needed to bottle some honey and I got to get this tank filled back up and all that good stuff. But we ended up with some, uh, oh, three buckets of honey. Um, that top one is lacking about a gallon, but we still got in the old tank here and it's still draining that again i said earlier that easily make us uh man two to three gallons when this thing gets above the valve and it's at least an inch above the valve now when it's above the valve it's two more gallons so th this tank really has been nice so yeah i'm guessing between 15 and 20 gallons somewhere in there i don't know a couple hundred pounds of honey um so that's good that's a good thing and it felt like a couple hundred pounds of honey hauling them in here but uh Gonna get these boxes back on the, the hives. Um, get these, give these bees a place to be, a place to go, uh, to be able to put more nectar, make some space. Um, the thing is, is there's probably another, oh man, five to eight boxes at least. Yeah, maybe, and yeah, then five to eight, somewhere in there. Uh, out there, they were full, but again, it wasn't capped. Now, this stuff is dry, but uh, unless I got a refractometer, I'm checking each one. I don't know. And so I'm just going to give them another week, see what they do. Uh, I don't want to get out there and check every, each and every frame or even even take a sample of the frames. I'll just let them cap it. The flow has pretty much, um, the major flow has stopped. There's some residual stuff out there. But I know this, the bees were getting all over the boxes and trying to rob the honey boxes when they're on the trailer. So flow is done for a couple weeks. So that should slow them down a little bit as far as where they're packing stuff. So hopefully this space will help and we'll make it on through the towel. That's normally what we do. Again, I don't go in and see how bad off the brew nest is uh, as far as full. Because if I don't look, then I figure it's not full. So that's not right. I don't know. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, you saw there's a swarm out there today. So Anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody watching. Quick little honey harvest to kind of make some room. We're waiting for the big one to come. Hopefully it's bountiful. We get what we get. We don't pitch a fit. I appreciate everybody watching. If you did happen to like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, anybody that just enjoys watching bees. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful evening. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. See y'all later.